this is probably one of the many Smith moments I publish on this channel where I do something that makes me look like an absolute simpleton. But I don't want you guys to make this mistake if you do miss it as well. Whenever you go to a blacksmith, pay attention to the blacksmith style. It's like a regional effect for some of them, a personal effect for others. When you go in and speak to them and you go to the enhanced equipment menu, you can see at the top of the screen there, this guy's style is Vermundian. That is the sort of region, the first area you start in. Now you can see here when I upgrade it, there'll be a small icon in the little upgrade panel in the center of the screen. That tells you that I've got a Vermundian upgrade on that particular piece of equipment. If I go up to these Batali ones, I've got Batal upgrades on there and then the next one I'll get into a bit later. So why this is important is because each style is actually unique. They will benefit you in different ways. How can this screw you up? Well, certain locations will give you increase to magic attack. And if you're putting that on a sword on a melee class, you're gimping the sword, right? And the first sort of one or two stages isn't a huge. When you combine all three bonuses together, it's pretty big. So I'll show you a little example here. So this is the example. This is a rare weapon or rare-ish, and this is where it's really important. Early on, because you're in the Vermundian area, it doesn't really make a huge difference. You're not going to mess up any of your low-level, low-price items because Vermundian just gives you general upgrades across the board, right? So it says that it uh, enhances all attributes on a piece of equipment. So it just enhances the stuff that's on the equipment across the board evenly. You're not really screwing anything. You're not going to get a min-max build out of that, but you're also not going to cripple yourself. So this is more a mistake you'll make if you didn't pay attention to that thing at the top like I did for about 45 hours and you start to get more rare and valuable weapons, say a one-time drop off of a boss or something like that, this is really where you don't want to blow those effects. So if you look here, this reduces the weight a little bit, brings the strength up to 536 and the magic up to 200. Now, if we look at the same weapon somewhere else, it brings the magic up to the magic up to 195 and the strength up to 539. And this play specifically focuses on magic and magic defense. So there's different locations in the game. I'm not going to spoil them in this video because I want you guys just to have fun exploring. We can put another video up on that if you guys want. But it's important when you're upgrading your weapons, your mid to, mid to high tier weapons, weapons you're going to be holding for a long time, you make sure you're careful and you don't put the wrong stuff on the wrong weapons. So it's nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need to get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe. We do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.